Hey, greetings fellow blockheads and welcome to another episode of Warp Dresser Does Quick Tips. Uh, this is episode 3 of my quick tips. Uh, I have done a couple quick tips before, however they were quite a long time ago in a former life on a former server, so uh, they are up on my channel, so you're certainly welcome to check them out. Um, today we are going to be talking about uh, item transit. Um, just to give you guys a little understanding, quick tips are usually um, a result of something I'm testing out when I'm doing builds and I want to figure out what the answer is, and I figure it's information that might be worth sharing. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. Um, what I'm actually looking into is how fast items transit from one place to another, and uh, just kind of get an idea what the speed is like. Now in this particular case, what I'm doing a test for was I was trying to figure out what the speed was between hoppers versus ice, the good old classic uh, water and ice trick. Um, so I decided to set up an extreme test to really show just how off they are from each other or which one's faster and just for kicks and giggles I went ahead through a rail line in just to get a proof of concept in terms of um, what differences in speed so in total here we actually have four lanes and the reason for that is is in addition to having the rail line and the hoppers um, I also did two different ice I did the regular vanilla ice as well as the packed ice just to see if there's any variance don't know for certain, but I figure I'd check anyway. Um, so that's what we're going to do here. Uh, just so you know, the uh, total distance here the items we'll be traversing is 150 meters. And of course, since this is a water flow, these are going to be dropping down as we go along. However, all the redstone linking to the lights for our system is going to be uh, all consistent. So there won't be any issues with um, uh, stuff not lining up properly. Now... The one other thing I want to check on here real quick, and I'll show you how I've got set up here, is I've actually got reset switches set for all these. And this is just basically set up so that I can easily come down here and have these hoppers on the bottom here. Clear out anything I have in the chest. And I do this because, well, quite frankly, because I'm lazy. <laughs> so that's pretty much how I've got things set up. Same deal up here. You can see we've got uh, a couple hoppers here below the chest. So if there's anything in here worth pulling out the uh, pop and pull them out for me. So, all right, so we're all set and ready to go here. Now, just for the sake of seeing things a little better and getting a good proof of cons, or uh, good accurate uh, run, I'm actually gonna go ahead and have it turn to night. Let's go ahead and make it nighttime. Let's make the lights down there a little easier to see. So when I start the test here, these uh, lights down there are gonna flash, let me know if the uh, items have been dropped and then we'll go ahead and wait for these lights to turn on down here, and we'll see what the results are. All right, here we go. Alright, so there we go guys. There are the results for the uh, different ways of uh, transmitting items from place to place. Uh, obviously, uh, this is not really a, a, a big surprise to me, of course. Um, I would, didn't realize the hoppers are going to be that slow in comparison to uh, water flows. So that is kind of interesting. Uh, minecarts are, of course, the most efficient and fastest. And this is a little bit uh, biased just because the minecarts are set to be the absolute fastest possible with, of course, all powered rails. That said, though, uh, I've done this test quite a few times. And just to be clear, when it comes to the difference between the packed ice versus regular ice, there really is no difference. It seems to be somewhat random in terms of which one gets there first, but they're usually pretty close to each other within a, a second or two. So I, I pretty much, uh, over about uh, uh, 10, 15 tests, I've gotten basically an average of packed ice coming in first or regular ice coming in first um, here and there. It, it is completely random. So I would consider those to be the same. Again, hopper chain, pretty, pretty darn slow. Um, each one of them have their function, of course, in their place. Again, I was just seeing how this worked out. So if you ran a short... Uh, transition from ice versus hoppers. Just kind of get a feel for how they react. So that's it for the quick tip. Again, I uh, always appreciate uh, comments and uh, questions. If you do have any, feel free to ask. I'll be happy to try to answer them for you. Um, I do have a lot of other stuff coming up here. I just made a discovery just recently uh, regarding uh, uh, paintings and frames and how they interact with signs. It's going to be some good ideas. So uh, 
Uh, be ready for uh, some new videos on that to come down the pipe here pretty soon. Give you guys some insight on that. As always, uh, in addition to the comments down below, you certainly can uh, leave me a like. It helps me out and it helps uh, uh, me know what, you, what you're into and what I should do more of. And of course, as always, if you enjoy the content that I have here from the quick tips to the how-tos to the uh, server play series, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Uh, I always certainly do enjoy seeing more people hop on and uh, I will endeavor to keep my videos coming and uh, keep you guys entertained. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate your time and uh, hey, have a good one. Mm-hmm. <laughs>